Hey loves, what's up? Welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new. So happy to have you here. Today we're going to do a Shein haul. Yay, you guys love Shein. Thank you so much to Shein for partnering with me on this video. I do greatly appreciate it. We've got lots of fun stuff. Some of these items you may have already seen in the spooky lookbook. Before I left for that, I did hang this all up so I could go through and there's definitely some stuff I still want to shoot for Instagram in this haul because it's so cute. It's so cute. So there's a lot of spooky stuff, but there are some just like basic fall stuff you know, weaved in here. If you are hoping for just like more of a fall vibe, I have more than one fall Shein haul and like fall hauls for other people coming. I'm honestly, I usually go through all of my Halloween and once it gets to October, I kind of focus a little bit more. Not always, it won't be 100% fall, but a little more on fall. But anyway, we've got lots of fun stuff. So I'm gonna go ahead and jump in. If you have any questions about my measurements, my sizing, all that jazz, it's down below in the description box. Almost everything in this haul is gonna be a 4X. There's a few things that are from the Curve Plus line. So they might be like a 22, a 24, I'll let you know. Or if it only goes to a 3X, cause some stuff, sometimes like sweaters only go to a 3X. Some of them only go to a 2X. Um, whatever the largest size is on the regular plus size stuff, is what size it probably is. Um, but if you have any questions about it in particular item and I forget to mention it, just ask me in the comments down below. All right, let's go ahead and do this. Hey loves, future me here. I have forgot to tell you that we have updated the coupon code with Shein. It is S15 shortcake to allow more people to use it because I think that there were like usage issues. Someone, some people were running out of uses for it. So you can use it over and over again. Um, but yeah, that is the updated <laughs> code. Uh, I'm not sure if shortcake still works, but S15 shortcake will work and I will leave it down below in the description box as well as links to every single item in this video. They are affiliate links. It means the world when you guys use them. Just helps me out and helps me keep creating videos here on my channel uh, but yeah let's um get into the rest of this okay okay <laughs> By the way, hi, I'm Shannon. If you're new here, welcome. <laughs> so happy to see your face. Um, I do lots of plus size fashion, some beauty, some vlogs, some food videos. I got plans, girl. I'm coming back for you. I'm coming back for you. <laughs> oh my gosh, the cats, sorry. I also have three cats and two of them are always in the videos. Crazy. Crazy. But anyway, subscribe if you want to be friends. Let's do this. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and start trying stuff on. I'm gonna go ahead and try this guy on. This guy was actually in the spooky lookbook, so if it looks familiar, it's just like a little peasant dress, but it's so perfect. You can throw a harness on, throw a belt on, dress it up, so cute. It's also got kind of like, it looks like a fern or something um, in like a flocking on it. Hopefully you guys can see. So cute, so it kind of reminds me of like woodland witchy vibes, which you guys know, I'm a fan. All right, I'm gonna pop it on, be right back. All right, babe, so here's the first dress. Super cute. As I've already tried it before, I know that I like it. I really like the length on it. It is still a maxi on me, but it's not so long that it's dragging on the ground. I am just under 5'9", for those wondering or those that are new here. This whole top is super smocked, so it's very comfortable. So if you can't get your exact size, but they have a size down or a size up, you're gonna be totally good because the smocking makes it so much more universally fitting. Also, if you're above a size 20, I believe this one's a 4X, you could pro probably up to at least a 24. I'm more of a 20 on top, a 22 on the bottom. So, the fact that it's like, I don't know, there's lots of extra room. So, maybe even a 26? Depends on how big your bust is, girl. I don't have much. So, very cute, very flowy. I really like this. It's just a really good black staple maxi dress. Perfect for fall. Even if you're not, like, super witchy, you could always pair it with, like, a more neutral belt, like a brown belt. I love mixing black and brown in the fall. I know it used to be so, like, faux pas, but, girl, I'm a fan. I'm a fan. So, this one is, I really like this. I think it looks really nice. Let's go ahead and just do this one because it is next in line. <laughs> this one, it's very, it's very similar. I was looking for a long flowy dress uh, for the lookbook. Um, I ended up using this one. This one I really like, and I feel like this one's a little more fall because it does have brown and white on it as well. I don't know what the print is supposed to be, but I think they look like little ice cream sandwiches. <laughs> Maybe that's the fat kid in me. I don't know, but I see little ass or Oreos. Same difference, you know? Close enough. Um, so I have a feeling this one's gonna be fantastic. Again, I love black and brown, so. Okay, babes, here is the next dress. Honestly, if it's a whole lot like the first one, these sleeves have smocking on them as well, which is really comfortable. And again, it's gonna allow for extra room. Same thing with this one. If you can't get your exact size, you're gonna be able to kind of finagle it a little bit because the smocking on the top. Smocking is a plus size babe's best friend because we're all shaped differently and it just allows for like you know more comfort too i just love smocking love this i think it's really 
<laughs> cute. Um, the other one had like two layers to it because it had like that, you know, fern like meshy material on top. This one is just a single layer. So yeah, I don't know. Do with that what you will. Again, very cute, especially because this one has brown in it. It would be really cute with a brown belt. Um, but whatever you're feeling, a little hat. I love a long black dress with a little hat. I sure do. But this one's also a win. Uh, it's a very safe bet kind of dress from Shein. If you're just starting out and you want to try out their stuff, definitely go for something smocked. You'll definitely, definitely <laughs> be happy with your choices. This guy, funny story. I tried to throw this on the other day before I left the house because I was like, I want to wear that dress. Because uh, Alina and I were going to get our nails done, which by the way, look, they're cute. You're going to see them in a vlog, but you might see this first. Who knows? Uh, so they're very cute. And... I like tried to throw this on and was having issues and then I just threw on something else and girl, <laughs> given I was in a rush, she was outside, that's my defense. Um, this guy's got a little romper thingy in it. It's got shorts. It's got shorts. Built in shorts. I'm shocked. I mean, that's great because it's got a, a slit on it, but I don't feel like it's the high slit in the world. I'm gonna pop on this dress and I'll be right back. All right, so I have it on. I did have to obviously step into it. I don't have it zipped all the way because I just, I'm trying. I'm trying. And this one does not even have, does it even have one of those little holes? No. Um, I find sometimes the zippers are a little difficult, especially on your own over like the seam, like not just from Shein. I'm talking anyone that uses these little tiny zippers. Um, oh, I got a little bit. Um, but I think I would definitely need help. And honestly, I would, pro oh, that is a high slit. Girl, okay, I see what you're doing. I see what you're doing. That is a high slit. Okay, so. But honestly, I always wear shorts under dresses anyway, so I might personally just cut out the bottom. But if it fits you nicely and easily, just because I like putting dresses on over my head, I don't like stepping into them. <laughs> I just, especially because like this is a 20 and I'm like a 22 on the bottom. And it's just like, so I can't just like step into it and slide it up like some, you know what I'm saying? Uh, the dress doesn't have any stretch, but the underneath has stretch. The stretch on the dress is just like around the top. So I do think if I had someone helping me, I could zip it because I can touch the zipper in the back. So if you are my measurements, I do think that this will work for you. You might just need someone to help you get into it. And I do think that that is a nice touch to put the shorts underneath. It's just something for me personally, because of the shape of my body, the way I put on clothes, <laughs> my long torso, that that kind of situation can be a little bit challenging for me personally, um, especially because I always do these try-on videos by myself, so I have no one to help me show you. But again, if I was wearing this dress like out, um, I would just have a friend help me get into it. Uh, but it is very cute. I like the print. There are little coffins and vampire teeth and stuff like that. It is a little closer fitting in the belly, um, and it is not stretch. And this girl, this slit is high, but again, there's little shorts that you can see underneath show you a little better in the split screen but yeah cute um what is next oh i'm excited to try on this skirt okay i've got two different tops to go with this skirt i live for by the way i have bing's hairs from smooching him all over my face stuck in my lipstick um i love a good red plaid skirt always and forever for spooky season for fall for winter for summer for spring. I'm a big fan of red plaid. So I decided to grab this one because I thought this looked very nice. It's got a whole bunch of like elastic smocking in the back. So it's going to be a nice fit no matter what I know. Um, so I'm going to try that guy on and I think I'll try it with this little collar top first. I just thought this was really cute. It's got all of these little, you know, witchy vibe things on it. I love a good collar top always and forever. So let's try this on. And then we will also try on the skirt with this little bodysuit which does have snaps, sweet. So I can just tuck it in. All right, babes, I think you can maybe, maybe, maybe see both, whoop. Um, look how cute these both are. Wow, I'm obsessed, hi. The skirt is super comfortable because it's got that smocking in the back. I like that it's got, I don't know, just the way it's constructed. I feel like sometimes when they're smocking in the back on skirts, it gives you like no shape. And part of my favorite thing about wearing 
little like mini skirts like this is because a lot of times it will kind of give you like the illusion of shape because I am a mini fridge. I am a rectangle. <laughs> I am not an hourglass at all. So sometimes, I don't know, sometimes it's fun to feel like you're an hourglass. So I really like this skirt. I like that it still gives you a little bit of shape even though it's got, because it's got like the front and it's not like all smocking. And just the way they did the stitching on the top, I feel like it kind of, I don't know, I just like it. Long story short. Long story long, more like. Um, and the t-shirt, absolutely love it. I could not get the button with my nails. My apologies, but there is a little button in the back uh, that has like the little elastic, you know, situation. Uh, very cute. Uh, very cute. Also, this top is nicely sized. I like that there's a little bit of extra room in it. It's really cute. Again, for me, you can't go wrong with collar. I just think they're so cute and classic spooky, you know, classic spooky. I'm a fan. I'm a fan. The only thing is there is like this mesh paneling. So, I mean, I don't really care if my bra straps show. A lot of us wear bras, you know, or you can just not wear a bra or you can wear a bandeau or you could wear a strapless. Do whatever makes your heart happy. Um, but I'm not too bothered by it. Not too bothered by it. Oh, okay. So next we've just got this little bodysuit. So I'm going to go ahead and put the bodysuit on with the skirt and see how it goes. I'm pretty sure it's going to go well. Um, it's just black and lacy and it's got like the kind of faux... Why do I always forget this word? <laughs> Corset type of situation looking like a faux bustier, which is my favorite thing because I think bustiers are so cute, but your girl likes to be comfy. All right, the bibs. All right, bibs. How many times can I say all right, bibs? Here is the bodysuit. Super stretchy, super comfy. I do like that it's got a little bit of padding here. So if you don't want to wear a bra with it, you are good to go. It's going to, you know, give you a little bit of coverage, maybe a little bit of oomph, you know what I'm saying? Um, super stretchy, like I said. So there are like some panels of regular like material and then there's like mesh and lace on here as well. Um, yeah, let me see. I think, oh yeah, easily. The bottom of this is all mesh so it will very easily if you've got a long torso like me you're still going to be golden it's going to be able to fasten if you are a bodysuit fastener i am a tucker i'm a tucker you know what i'm saying um but yeah cute basic but in the best way i know that a lot of people look at this and be like that's not basic shannon it's a black lace <laughs> yeah um to me this is very a very common staple in my closet. We've got some tops and some pants. Okay, these pants also made it into the spooky lookbook. I'm trying to do something a little bit different this year. I'm not 100% sure how I feel about these on me. I think they're cute. I love them on other people. I've got really thick legs and I almost feel like, I don't know, they look cooler. I don't want to say that because that sounds very fat phobic of myself. You gotta catch yourself. Even when it's about yourself, you should try and not be fat phobic by yourself. Um, because what I was saying is like when I look at it, when I see smaller girls than me wear these, or even just anyone with smaller legs than I have, they just look so cool because it feel it looks like they go in and then out. And on me, it's just kind of <laughs> I got chunky legs. I always have this swollen knee. Like I, you know, it's just one of my insecurities. And so I feel like they fit me not as much, as great as I would like them to. Plus, I am a tall bean, and I wish they were just slightly longer, but they're super comfy. They're super cute, and we're going to try them again because I put them in the lookbook, and I also was so exhausted by the time I put them on. That may have also impacted my feelings because um, it was the last outfit we shot. We shot, like, 16 looks that day. Um, so we're going to try this, and no, we will try it with – let's do this – the orange and black stripey top first, and then we will do this adorable sweater, which I'm so excited about. This looks so cute. It's got like kind of bell sleeves. The knit is breathtaking. Um, I can't believe <laughs> how affordable it was for how cute it is. Um, but let's try this one first with it, and we'll just be a little spooky bean. And then we do have another pair of pants. A couple more pairs of pants. Getting you some pants, guys. I know you love some pants. I'm a dress girl, but I do love some pants. Anyway. Let's see. Okay, babes, let's talk about the top first. I think it's so cute. I really do love a black and orange stripe. The only thing is it's printed on white, so as it stretches, it does, I don't know, I wish that it was printed on black. I feel like it would just make it look a little bit more expensive if it had it been printed on black, but of course, you probably can't print orange on black. Um, <laughs> just a thought. Um, so yeah, that's the only thing I can say about it that makes it look a little bit less expensive, but the thing is, is... Girl. I don't even remember the price, but I know this guy was super affordable. It's got a functional zipper. I love orange and black stripes, always and forever. So I am, 
I'm a fan. Even with that little thing, I just, obviously that's something you can see, but it's something I like to mention because it's not my favorite thing with printed stuff, but you can't avoid it sometimes. I think the top is really cute and comfy and stretchy. And I'll have to just look at the footage because I never really know until I have it on and I look at the photos and I look at it to see how I truly feel about it. From what I can see, it still looks super duper cute. I don't really think that the, once it's like in its place, you know, it's only when like I'm putting it on do I see it super stretched into the white. So I think as long as you, you could even size up if you wanted to, if that's a concern of yours because it is a stretchy material. Um, and if it's a little bit bigger, then it'll stretch less. But honestly, this is my normal size that I always get and I feel like it's great. So, like it. And it's comfy because it's stretchy. And the zipper's cute. Halloween for life. Okay. So we've got these pants on. I realize I think part of the idea, part of the idea, <laughs> part of the reason I don't 100% love them on me, I love this type of pants on everyone else, is this pair in particular, where like the knee is supposed to be, um, is a little bit above my knee. And I think that if it was lower, um, I mean, I could try, I tried to like maneuver it and it doesn't stay on me because of my height, my long torso, all those things where I like to pull up my pants too. <laughs> All those things like, so it really is just a height thing for me, I think. And obviously I do have really thick legs, uh, but most plus size babes do. Not all of us. We're all shaped differently. We're all unique flowers, but you know, so I think that's part of it. Cause I think if it hit me a little bit lower instead of it hits me on my thigh. And if it hit me on my knee where like a lot of pants like this hit people usually, but of course your height, your shape, all these different things can come into, you know, into play and maybe this just isn't the correct pair for me so saying that these are so freaking comfortable you guys it's literally like wearing sweatpants and they're so cute i love the little dangly moons i love the lace panels i will definitely be trying another pair like this again soon probably from shein or somewhere else um shein has so many different pairs like this they're so cute they have so many cute 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 um pants like this and I think they are so cool and it's just a nice new option. We are going to pop on this sweater. Uh, I just think it's beautiful. I love the sleeves. I hope it fits correctly because I'm pretty sure it's a 3x and y'all know I am much more of a 4x. Um, sometimes a 5x, sometimes a 22, sometimes a 24 at Shein but for the most part I go for the 4x because it usually is you know golden for me uh, but I think this one only went to a 3x and it was so cute that I had to try it. So I'll pop that guy on and I'll be right back. Girl, she cute. She cute. I'm hoping to, like, if I wear it, you know, some sweaters, especially if they're, like, a, a looser kind of knit, I feel like it might stretch out just a little bit. I wish that it was just, like, the smidgiest, larger. Like, it totally fits. It's super comfortable. But you guys know me. <laughs> I'm, like, comfy, comfy, comfy. And I just want to, when I wear sweaters, I want to be swallowed whole in them. But... That being said, I feel like this would be so cute tucked into a little skirt. Let's tuck it into this, into these, into loose. I can never speak. Into these pants. Um, cause I feel like that could be cute because it is a closer fitting sweater. Um, or even like into your pants. It's a vibe. Kind of feel like a vampire. But yeah, I love this. I think it's beautiful. I think that it looks much more expensive than it was. Okay, next, we do have a little bustier top. Shocking, a black lace bustier top. You guys know me. I love them. This one actually does have boning in it. I have tried it on. It's super duper comfy because it's super stretchy. Yeah, I think the bodysuit might be the smallest bit more comfortable because there is no boning. But because of this being stretchy, it, it makes you not really notice the boning as much because there's so much stretch. I feel like boning only really is uncomfortable when there is no stretch, but this guy's got so much stretch and mesh in the back that I think this is fantastic. If you're looking for little tops like this, they have so many. We also have this little one that we will try on next. This guy made it into this wiki lookbook with these pants. Love this little top. They have the cutest little camis. I just love them. Um, yeah, so we're gonna also try on these pants, which I know are a win. I think these are 22. Very cute. Uh, they've got the little tie. I almost wish that I would have sized up like a size or two, depending on how loose you want them. Don't be scared to size up. Um, but regardless, they are stretchy, so they'll fit you. Uh, but I just like the like, I don't know, comfy, comfy extra room situation. So let's try that on. Okay, babes, we've got the next outfit on. Look how cute these pants are. These are so much fun. Um, yeah, I think that they're honestly, they're pretty perfect. <laughs> I guess going up a size or two might be even better if you want them a little looser, but they're super stretchy, super comfy, and I do have larger legs, so do with that what you will. Got a little drawstring here, which is functional, which I love. Got it tied. There's an elastic 
waist. There's elastic at the bottom. There are pockets in these pants. Heck yeah. Total win for pockets. So these are super comfy. You look like you tried. <laughs> a bad bee. <laughs> Being a bad bee. Spooky bad bee. Heck yeah. Um, and then this little corset top. I love it, of course. It is a little bit closer fit than the bodysuit. So if you want something a little bit like, I mean, it's not uncomfortable by any means. And I like the structure of this. That's why I got both because I like structure sometimes. And I want just like comfy, comfy other times. And yeah, so both are total wins. Both are super cute. This one, it has, it doesn't have padding in it, but it does have an underwire. And the other one just has padding and no underwire. So I feel like both of them are equipped for you to wear without a bra if you don't want to wear a bra, but of course do what you want. Um, especially because they're black. I feel like if you want to wear a bra underneath them, sometimes I want that extra because I don't have a lot of, you know what I'm saying? So very cute, cute, cute. And I'm going to go ahead and pop this little top on too and throw hangers on the floor because it wouldn't be a clothing haul if I didn't throw a hanger on the floor. So here's the next little top. She's a cutie. I did put most of the more folly stuff at the end, just so you know, um, even though we're more than halfway through. <laughs> so I'm trying that top, and then we got two dresses. Ooh, I forgot about this. A sweatshirt, a sweater, some jeans, a dress, a jacket, and another cottage gore dress. <laughs> Here's the next little top. This one is shorter than the last, just keep that in mind. Um, so it is a shorty, but I also have a long torso. So it could be more of a normal length on you, um, but it's very much crop on me. I can tuck it in if I want to. I just have to pull my pants up a little bit higher. Um, it does still kind of pop out in the back because I got that booty. And that booty, I always got that naked back. <laughs> my things are too short. But it's very cute. I love the little white buttons. They're, of course, not functional. They're just there for decoration. I love the little lace. It's nice and stretchy and comfy. The straps are adjustable. Can't say enough good things about it. Um... I mean, it could be a little bit longer, but I'm not bothered by it, you know. Ain't, ain't no problem. Look, it's so cute. It's so cute. It matches these pants. I just think this outfit is such a vibe. Such a vibe. And I wore a moto jacket with it, which, of course, Shein's got a million amazing moto jackets. Okay, next we do have a little black dress. It's got smocking in the back. Just very classic, whimsical, witchy vibes. You, know, you, you just know I had to try it. Um, sometimes it cuts off my head a little bit, but that's okay. <laughs> So here is the dress. Very cute, very comfortable. It's got that smocking in the back, like I mentioned. I also love that it's got that little tie back there. It might have come undone. Oh, this little guy right here. Um, because I've got the slopiest shoulders in the world, and that's just a nice little addition. First of all, it's kind of cute to have a little bow back there. And second of all, it's going to keep these on my shoulders, which I love because they always want to fall off. Everything wants to fall off. Um, but yeah, Love this. It feels like really nice quality. There are multiple layers to it, which is really cute. I love the detail right here. I might just, I can't decide where I want the camera. Like there, maybe? Um, but yeah, obsessed. Uh, the length on this is really good. It goes to the top of my knee, which is one of my favorite. It's like my favorite length of dress. Uh, I just feel cute. But I love that it's like, because I love a shorter dress, but I like when they're long enough that I don't feel like I'm going to be showing my booty. You know what I'm saying? Um, I always wear booty shorts. So, I mean, if I do show my booty, not the end of the world. But this is cute. I love the sleeves. There is some elastic. So if you want to push them up, you surely can. I love like the billowy sleeves for multiple reasons. One, I think they're cute and they're witchy, but also if you have larger arms like I do, you don't have to worry about if they're going to fit or not. And this just feels like the most perfect. If you need a little witch dress, like a last minute costume that you don't want to try too hard on, but then you'll also have a dress afterwards, this would be a perfect one. Just get a little witch hat. So cute. Okay, next we do have a bat dress. This popped up and I was like, girl, do you have enough bat dresses? The answer is never. So we've got a little bat dress. It's two pieces. It's got like a little slip underneath and it's got the overlay of bats and the bats and moons and stars are like velvet flocked. Oh, see if you can see. So cute. So cute. So it's got bats and moons and stars. Heck yeah. All right, loves. Here's the bat dress. Gotta be honest with you. I accidentally put it on the wrong way first. So I was very confused. I was like, why is there no coverage? <laughs> There's coverage. I just put it on backwards. So Mind that when you put it on, otherwise you're going to be very, very confused when the back is in the front and the front is in the back. That's why I need a mirror in here. Um, but very cute, very comfy. Of course, it's stretchy because it's all made of mesh. There is like a tank top attached underneath, not a tank top, like a slip dress. 
Anyway, I love the little flock bats and moons and stars. Very cute. Um, next, you do have a pair of jeans. You guys have probably seen this pair of jeans before because I have been trying to find my correct size in this pair of jeans from Shein because I love them so much. I went by the measurements this time, and I feel like this may have either been great or a mistake. I can't tell because um, I have them in. I had them in a forex. And they were super duper stretchy, but just like not high waisted enough. And then I got the 22 and they fit, but they're just a little bit snugger than I prefer. You guys know me, I'd rather be a little comfy. Um, and especially with my knee and stuff. I, so I think like a 26 or a 28 because I went by the measurements and I can't find it, but I will find it um, and let you guys know what size I did get. Um, but I'm not sure how they're going to work. So we will try these. They've got like fishnet. And they've got some studs and stuff. Very cute. And I'm going to try it with two different tops. First, we'll do with a stripey sweater. And then we will do this guy. I'm pretty sure the stripey sweater only went to a 3X as well. And then we do have this pullover, which, oh, my God, it's so cute. I can't even handle it. It's a it's a little ghost cat. He's so cute. Okay. Try this on. All right, babe. So here is the sweater. Very cute. As always, I wish it was a little bit looser. I feel like the ones I picked out this time were a little bit more close fitting. Normally, if they are a little bit more loose fitting, the 3X works just fine. Um, it's just a little bit closer fitting, but it's still a cutie patootie. I, you can't go wrong with stripes ever in my book especially for spooky season. It's a nice lightweight sweater, so it's gonna be really good for the beginning of fall. Um, and of course you can layer it up, or if you live somewhere that doesn't really get very cold, it's gonna be a great option for you if you wanna participate in sweater weather. Sweater weather. <laughs> uh, Cause it's nice and thin. Okay, and then the pants. So I did end up getting the pants in a 28 because I looked at the measurements and that's what the measurements said. I do have to say they fit my legs pretty great because the other ones were kind of tight on my legs and especially with my knee issue, um, you know, it's just better when they're a little bit more comfortable. So super comfy on the legs and I do feel like now I can pull them up high enough. Only downside is, <laughs> I don't know how, measure, how like accurate the measurements are. I don't know, but I think that I, I'm more happy with this pair, even though it is quite loose and without a belt, they'll definitely fall down, especially because they're fitting my legs nicely, but it is loose up here. Um, thankfully, it's pretty stretchy, so I feel like it still looks okay, even though there's a little bit of looseness going on. You know, just so you guys know, I'm normally a 22 on the bottom, so. But I did look at the measurements, and I feel like in the Fit Plus stuff especially, for the most part, if I order a 4X across the board, it usually works. Maybe it's a little tight, maybe it's a little loose, but usually golden. When it comes to the Fit Plus stuff, I definitely say check the measurements, but also, I don't know, see if they're stretched, because I kind of think maybe a 26 would have been the better bet. But again, I will wear a belt and I'm happy to have these in a size that, you know, fit my legs a little bit more comfortably. And of course they could stretch out as I wear them, but I don't know. I think they're stinking cute. <laughs> they're cute. That's why I've been like, these ones might be slightly, actually I think these are slightly different from the other two that I have. I think the last two were exactly the same. And then this one's slightly different with the mesh and the studs. Um, but long story long, they're cute. They're cute. Really like the jeans. Um, just sizing is off. If you have thick legs, size up in them. Um, I think that a 24 would have been okay too. It probably would have fit up here way better because the 22s were kind of snug. So I think a 24 would have been great up here, but probably still a little tight on the legs. So go up a size or two, depending on what you think. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Anyway, let's go ahead and pop this guy on. I know I'm going to love it. I love Shein's pullovers. They are perfection. They're so comfy and so cute all the time. So and then we've got a few fun non-spooky items left. We've got a little checker dress. We've got a denim jacket. And, oh, she's cute. Look at this dress. <clears throat> All right, babes. Here is the sweatshirt. It's super cute. Um, it's super comfy. This guy is in a 4X. Some of their sweatshirts will go up to a 5X. Um, but I find that they are a little bit oversized. So I usually find getting like my true size at Shein. The most common size that I get is a 4X. And I think it's perfect and comfy because I like when they're super comfy. But although that's a lie. I'll wear them like this or I'll wear them bigger. you know. <laughs> but this is like perfect for me. Absolutely love it. Um, this one's a little bit interesting. I feel like the sleeves, like the... Like it's made out of slightly different material, but the inside is still like that, uh, that super soft, buttery, fuzzy, comfy teddy bear hug. You know what I'm saying? And then like, I feel like the sleeves, they feel a little bit different than the rest of it, um, but not in a bad way. Just it's, it feels a little bit different than other ones I've had. I feel like most of them, the 
wrist cuffs and the bottom are made of like the exact same material and this one's like slightly different um and again not in a bad way just a little different and I mean I like it I'm down honestly it might it feels like there's more elastic in it feels like there's more elastic in it so I feel like that's great because honestly sometimes the sleeves are like if I push them up and push them down and push them up and push them down they can get stretched out on any sweatshirt that I own especially because I am a sleeve pusher upper all the time <laughs> so uh yeah I love this I think this is probably the making words. This was probably a conscious decision, I'm guessing, um, because maybe other people were experiencing the same thing. My battery died. Of course, of course it died with like two items left. I mean, really three items, but one's an outfit. Anyway, I think that it was a conscious decision because it's going to hold up better. I feel like if there's more elastic, it's going to be able to like retain its shape better. That's what I'm saying. Love this. If you are looking for like a spooky sweatshirt, um, I just got a Halloween town one too that I ordered myself and I'm obsessed with it. Uh, they've got lots of fun stuff on there. So, but yeah, it's super stretchy, super comfy, but we're going to try it on anyway so you guys can see it. And I am going to try it on this jacket, which I have not tried on. I thought this was so cute with the floral embroidery. They feel like, they're like nice embroidered patches on there. Um, there's some distressing in the back, so it's like a little crop guy. But I think she's going to be cute. I'm going to have one dress after that. All right, loves. So both of these are in a 4X. Here is the little jacket. We'll talk about this first. Super cute. It's like a light wash denim. Here are the patches. There's some distressing. Do a little spin spin. It's comfortable. I feel like these patches are real big. They're real big. <laughs> um, but they don't get in the way of pushing up the sleeves. There isn't like a cuff on the sleeves and that's probably because there's like so many patches on the sleeves 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 um but it's cute and it is large enough if I did want to button it I could it is a true cropped length especially on me with my long torso but I think she's cute um and I think with this dress which I'll take off the jacket in a minute so you can see it a little more comfortable just because it's such a thin stretchy dress that I did feel like all my lumps and bumps were on display um but it really just depends on the day you guys know some days I'm like take it I don't care and then some days I'm like I just want to be comfortable and not think about it uh so yeah very cute little jacket. Cute, cute, cute. Okay, so here is the little dress. Again, this guy is so stretchy, so comfortable. It feels like I'm wearing PJs. Uh, obviously, I love the checker print. I like the buttons. The buttons are faux. They are just there for style, not for functionality, which I always love in a dress because just we're all shaped so differently. And especially if they're stretch, you could just like pull so easily. So I'm glad they're just there, you know, for fashion not for functionality um no pockets but it's so cute it's a good length it goes just above my knee so definitely a win if you're into checkers um last but certainly not least i had to grab this dress cottagecore dreams this of course is part of the mod line i believe um which i was telling you is so cute you could wear this <laughs> if you're looking for like i always loved taking everyday like items that I would wear and turning them into Halloween costumes because it was like a twofer. I got a dress that I would wear in the future but also if I threw some wings on I could be a little fairy princess in this. That would be really cute. So let's try it on and see. All right loves last but certainly not least we've got this guy. How cute is this dress? I love the length on it. It's a little bit longer. It goes like mid knee on me and again I am 5'9 just under 5'9 but with shoes 5'9. Um so it's perfect. It's really comfortable. There is there is smocking in the back, but it's also got this like kind of structured panel in the front, which is, I don't know, I think it's cute. It kind of looks like you're wearing a corset, but like you're not. <laughs> you're wearing stretchy, stretchy comfy. Um, I really like the sleeves. They are super stretchy. I like how loose the elastic is, so they're going to be comfortable. Uh, it's just cute. <laughs> super cute. Um, I'm a fan. I feel like a little milkmaid or something. Like I need to go to Leavenworth. <laughs> Leavenworth? I almost said Leavenworth. Leavenworth? Oh my gosh, now I'm questioning it. Oktoberfest for sure. Oktoberfest vibes. So, total win. I love this. So cute. All right, babe. So that is everything for this Shein haul. As always, we do have a coupon code. I forgot to tell you that at the beginning, so I'm going to have to like insert some footage, but it actually changed because there was like a limit on the amount of times you could use the code. And some people were like running out of 
uses. <laughs> they changed it to S15 shortcake. So just add S15 in front of shortcake and you're good to go. Shortcake might still work. I'm not sure, but they did update it. So just keep that in mind that there is a new code. Of course, I'll put it down below and everything will be linked down below as well. Um, and they are affiliate links. It means the world when you guys use them. No pressure, but they're there for your convenience if you want to. Uh, but yeah, I think that is it. If you made it to the end, leave a bat emoji because you know what? The bat dress, there's also bats on that sweatshirt. There were bats. <laughs> leave a little bat down below and let me know what your favorite item was in this haul. What kind of Shein haul you want to see next. Uh, yeah, just let me know down in the comments. Um, please subscribe if you haven't already. I upload videos every Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Let's be friends. All right, I think that's it. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Oh, Binks is behind the camera. <laughs> trying to get in the Shein box because I took everything out, hung it up and set the box over there. And he just, you want in there, sir? Here. You want to go in? Here. Got you. I got you, boo. I got you. There you go. Now you can get in. Have fun. Have a grand old time. I feel like this might be a mistake, but I'm going to let him do his thing. <laughs> Say hi to everybody, to your fans. He's in happy October. Today is the last day of September, but by the time you see this, it will be October. It's the best month, right? It's the best month. Um, hi. Don't scratch your mother. Don't scratch your mother. You always need so much attention. Only if I'm doing stuff. I love this top. I feel sophisticated, like a, like a sophisticated witch. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Hold this up so he doesn't get it, but I also don't want to flash you. Um, Binksy boy! He does not care. He does not care. He does not care. Okay, so here's the bat dress. Child, honey bun. Honey bun, come here. Take this. Toy? Go get the toy. Go get the toy. <laughs>